Seasons of Advent and Christmas seem to come so quickly and to be filled with many activities, to say the least. In the everyday planning and preparation for family and community celebrations, there are inevitably certain individuals who, for whatever reason, go unnoticed or unrecognized. They make an important contribution. They are invaluable in their presence and support, but are quiet and simply unassuming in their role. If you wish to recognize them and thank them, they are often reluctant to accept such praise and the notoriety among the many others who are present. It has often struck me that in the Advent and Christmas season, this could quite easily describe the role of St. Joseph if it were not for certain passages of Scripture and the celebration of the feast dedicated to the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary and Joseph, which falls on the second Sunday immediately following Christmas. There is also a reference to Joseph at the beginning of the octave period, the eight days leading up to Christmas, which the Church highlights through the praying of the O Antiphons. It is in Matthew's Gospel where he sets out the origin or genealogy of Jesus Christ, son of David, son of Abraham, and then traces his human descent by bringing his ancestral line down to his mother's husband, Joseph. As St. Leo the Great states, to speak of our Lord, the Son of the Blessed Virgin Mary, as true and perfect man, is of no value to us if we do not believe that he descended from the line of the ancestors set out in the Gospel. On the fourth Sunday of Advent, in this same Gospel, it recounts how Joseph received the news of the impending birth of Jesus of the circumstances of Mary's virginal conception through the power of the Holy Spirit. Then, despite his initial resolve not to take part in this event, we hear of the night in which the angel appeared to him in a dream, where he receives the assurance, the guidance, and the courage to take Mary as his wife into his home. Unlike Mary, he is asleep and does not question the meaning of this dream or the message of the angel. Tradition has described this as the faithful obedience of Joseph. It is the silent, dutiful action of accepting and taking on the responsibility of caring for others. He is, was called to a unique role, to self-giving, sacrifice, to the promotion of human life, and to the protection of the Holy Family in Nazareth. This same testimony is also very much reflected in the life of Brother André of Montreal, who was recently canonized by Pope Benedict XVI. He is popularly known as the Apostle of St. Joseph for his life and witness to Christ and his faith in the intercession of St. Joseph to bring healing to many who sought him out. In fact, it may be providential to reflect on the life and the spirituality of the saintly doorkeeper from the Collège Notre Dame as a living example of the life and the model of St. Joseph that we encounter especially in this Advent season. Sanctification in the lives of the saints is a gift from God. However, that is only one side of the story. The other part involves their own act of detachment of all that would come between them and the love of God and others. It is often this act of sanctification in a saint's life and the work which results in a deeper union with God and others through grace. This sanctification might be described as the faithful obedience which developed in the life of St. Joseph and Brother André despite the circumstances of their lives. As we have come to know in Brother André's life, he faced many challenges in his young years. Poor health, the death of both parents at a very early age, and being raised in a foster family. The lack of education, and thus his limited ability to read or write. 
and the physical limitations which prevented him from having steady employment. What is most interesting is that these experiences did not result in his turning inward on himself with pity or being angry and bitter, but instead through grace these experiences led him to prayer and to seek consolation in God. As one autobiographer stated, it led him to silent contemplation. These trials brought him closer to God, to prayer, to a deeper faith and trust in God, and to the conviction of his devotion to St. Joseph. You might say that this was the beginning of his active sanctification. In the second part of his life, this sanctification came through the experience of his role in the community of the Holy Cross Brothers and as a doorkeeper at the Collège Notre Dame. This ministry opened him up to the needs of others and developed within him an approach to people which was characterized as one of acceptance and compassion. He quietly went about his duties accepting whatever responsibilities he was given in the community. He took care of the needs of the young students, his brothers in the community, and all the people who came to the door seeking his prayers. As his notoriety grew, and the number of people seeking admission and assistance increased, yet he remained humble. He always attributed the miracles of healing to St. Joseph, and often described his role by saying, I'm nothing but St. Joseph's little dog. His devotion to St. Joseph also inspired him in practical ways to model Joseph's role in promoting the human relationships that come from family, in very much the imitation of the Holy Family. The closeness of God is revealed in the mystery of the Holy Family. Even in our own family relationships, God can reveal himself and become the incarnate meeting place in this community of human persons. The relationship of the Holy Family was transformative of our humanity. And so Brother Andre, who in his own life lacked this human presence of family, nevertheless developed a spirituality of life which promoted human relationships by reaching out to the needs of others, which was transformative and healing. The spiritual reality and indwelling of the Holy Family today finds its meeting place not necessarily in Nazareth, but in the oratory which was inspired by Brother Andre. Each year, the Advent and Christmas seasons provide us with a wonderful opportunity to reflect on the mystery of St. Joseph in the plan of God's salvation. It is also a specific grace for us in Canada to enter into such a reflection in the light of the recent events of the canonization of St. Brother Andre. It would be very important for us to acknowledge the presence of such unique individuals in our lives of faith this Christmas to take note of those family and friends who witness to us of Brother Andre and St. Joseph through lives of faithful obedience, often humbly accepting their responsibilities of vocation and in reaching out to the needs of others, in promoting human relationships which are transformative and which allow us all to experience the closeness of God.